How come every time Conor McGregor's on a fight card, the fight card is amazing? Not saying uh, it's all about Conor, but damn. Cowboy Donald Cerrone, look what he just did. Body punch, and then landed a significant head kick and knocking out Rick Story. Made it look easy. He's phenomenal. He's 10-1 and one in his last 11 fights. You know what's crazy? Donald Cerrone looks even better at 170 than he does at 155. I think it's because he's depleting his body to make 155, and now that he's walking around and fighting at like a natural weight and not cutting a lot of weight, this dude is significantly dominating people. Like I said, he's 10 and 1 in his last 11 fights. That's a significant win streak. And then you have that beast of a dude, Rumble Johnson, brutally knocking out with the BKO knocking out Glover to share and making it look easy. You talk about the knockouts of Mark Hunt. Talk about the knockouts of Anthony Rumble Johnson. That dude's a beast. Because Glover to share comes in like this, bobbing weaving, and gets up in his face and gets cracked. And he just falls backwards. Damn, Anthony Rumble Johnson is a beast. The only guy he hasn't been able to beat was DC. So now it's going to be Daniel Cormier versus Anthony Rumble Johnson. Rumble Johnson is a beast. He has some of the most significantly brutal knockout power. But I'll definitely say this is the way a fight should go. Two men throwing for the fences, throwing everything they have, and putting it on the line. That's what I want to see. I want to see a hyped up fight that lives up to the hype. And I got to uh, show you a tweet. And it's kind of funny that Brendan Shaw brought this up. He goes, hold up. You spent... $300,000 on a training camp and you're already gassing out after the second round? What the F? The bottom line is, uh, Brendan Schaub says it was 3-1 to one going into the fifth round. I believe the take the uh, punches landed in the first round was what won Connor the uh, first round. He landed some significant uh, leg kicks throughout the fight, which was uh, pretty damaging. I think the bloodiness maybe won in the fight, but Nate Diaz took him down at the last uh last round and landed some significant strikes. He was landing a lot of strikes in the clinch. He was winning the clinch battles, I think. I think he was doing more damage in the clinch. And you had Connor running around, running away. At what point, at one point in the fight, Connor did this. And that shows sign of fatigue, sign that you're gassing out. And um I think um Diaz Tried to take Connor down a few times, and I think he tried to take him down so he could submit him. And I think if there was a little bit more time in the fight, Connor McGregor would have got submitted because he got taken down. Um, Connor McGregor, like I said, is a beast. I love both fighters, but out of these two guys, I would say Connor McGregor is the lesser fight favorite in my opinion. I think um, they're going to have a third fight, and Nate Diaz says he's not going to come back and fight until he gets a third round fight against Connor McGregor, and Conor McGregor, like I said, I don't believe he won the fight. I believe he won the uh, first round by the uh, leg kicks and by the significant strikes that he landed to knock Diaz down and bloodied him up. And I think the bloodiness is what gave him the fight because uh, they look at him and go, well, he's, he's losing the fight, and a lot of these judges don't know what they're talking about. Uh, one of my uh, friends, he replies to a message, and he goes, and I wrote, I said, now that's what, and here's what I, I wrote, I said, now that's what I'm talking about. That's a fight. Maybe Nate won by the takedown. I think they say, and I said, I think they say Connor because Nate is bloody. And I basically said, they say Connor's going to win, the judges. And I said, Connor just said it was four rounds to one. That's what he uh, said uh, walking around. I, heard, I, I could hear that. And I said, wait, how did Connor win all five rounds? And... My uh, buddy says, I don't know, man. Probably because Connor's the pretty face of the UFC, pretty much. And I said, yeah, Nate. I said, yeah, Nate winning all the fight up on the cage. Weird. And he goes, yeah, that's pr too bad. Um, I think I think Connor was losing all the fight when he was up against the cage. All the clinch work was winning by Diaz. That's my personal opinion. 
Um, I think Connor might have won when it was on the outside. But um, let me know what you guys think. If you guys seen the fight, let me know. If you haven't seen the full fight, click the links in the description box and it will take you to where you can watch the fight. It's just, to me, it's mind-blowing how the UFC does that, you know. And Nate Diaz says the same thing, that they don't want him to win because... He, he speaks his mind. He tells it like it is. And they gave it to the pretty boy of the UFC. That's a lot of times they, what they do. They pick the champion over a guy. Like Ric Flair used to say. To be the man, you have to beat the man. If you can't beat him and you go to a judge's decision, they're going to give the man with the title, 9 times out of 10, the uh, credit and say he won. But I thought that even Joe Rogan said it. The significant takedown should have had a big play in it. He said it like it was, that the significant takedown was that takedown in the fifth round. He goes, that has a big play in this fight. And I bet you they didn't even pick it. But they, but a, every judge picked Conor McGregor to win. Every judge. So they said he won all five rounds and Nate won none. That is uh, crazy. I believe it was at least a 2-2 two to two going up to the fifth round. That's what I could have believed, believed. I don't believe Conor won every single round. What are these guys smoking? As always, hit that like button, subscribe button. I'm Trevor from Trevor's MMA, and let me know what you guys think.